Welcome, friends, to another episode of Brickitex Lego Yard Sale Hauls. This one's kind of unique because it's not what you typically see for me. It's not a Lego set. It's not a collection of pieces, although it is Lego branded. This is a Lego AM FM radio slash CD player. My father-in-law found this for me a while back over the summer yard sailing. It was one of the first scores that he came up with this summer. And... I can't remember what he paid for it. I want to say it was either $10 or $20. I'm hoping $10 because I did notice as I was bringing it over here today, it's missing the battery cover that's on the bottom here. It does take, are those C or D batteries? It's kind of expensive to load that up, but it does plug in and I have it plugged in down here. I have yet to turn this on or do anything with it. I thought I'd save that for this video. And I've been waiting to make this video because I wasn't sure what I'd play on this. I can't play any actual music because we'll get a copyright strike on that. So luckily, a few weeks ago in the mail, I got a CD from the new Storyteller and I thought when we test this out, maybe we can throw this in there and see if it works. Let's go ahead and get this show on the road, turning it on. Okay. Radio sounds like it works. There is an antenna back here. Bring that out like this. Maybe we can pick up some amazing stations from somewhere far away. Again, I'm not gonna play any actual music because I don't wanna get a strike, but there you go. That's as good as you get, but it does work. Let's test the volume, see how loud it gets. Okay, that, we got that. It works. As for the controls down here, you've got AM, FM, of course. I have it on FM. Down here, it's off. We got radio, auxiliary, and CD. You can do aux in, and you also have headphone jack on here, which is kind of nice. Whoa, look at that switching back and forth. I guess because of... That is very sensitive. Like, I'm barely turning that. Like, you give that just a little turn... That's crazy. You gotta like really dial it in. Like, let me try to go to, I'll try to go 95.5 and see if I can get there. There we go. Just a little bit of finesse there. Over here, we've got skip, play, pause. This is for the CD player function of it, which uh, let's see, how do we open this up? Is it one of those things that you, you just pick it up like that, I guess? I thought maybe there'd be a button, like a secret button that you have to hit. And I have this sitting on the cord, which is not helping things. As it breaks, the whole thing just collapses. But we open this up. Looks pretty clean in there. Let's do the unthinkable here and try the new Storyteller CD out. This is titled Brickitect Family 2. He did send us one other CD before, and I'd like to give you guys a chance to listen to what he sent us here. Switch this over to CD. Sounds like something's happening inside there. Okay. Let's click play. The Big Race. Get ready for this one, guys. By John Pye. As seen on ABC TV. Read by the new storyteller for the Big Attack family. In a country at the top of the world, or the bottom, according to your point of view. There's a city that's built around a harbor. So instead of getting round on trains and buses and cars, some of the people who live there travel on boats, which are called fairies in this race before, but he'd never won. What do you think? He normally came last, but it was still a lot of fun. There was Bill, and Kate, and Lou. Fred Stuckhand, Pelican Pete, was very excited. What happens if I hit the skip button? Steady Eddie, the model version. Here is one. By Barnhouse Company. Read by the new storyteller. For the Bicker Tech family. Is that Episode a Episode 1. Oh boy. The Market Truck Depot. Let's get the back. There's a another sunny day in the United <laughs> Kingdom. In the truck depot, <laughs> Steady Eddie was yeah. waking up. So were the other trucks. The yeah. second to wake up that? was Loretta Lobby. And the third was Doc the Tartan Tanker. Morning, you two, said Steady Eddie. Morning, Steady Eddie, said Loretta and go. Jock. Going so... to be any more delicious to make. I okay, 
So there you go, guys. Fully functional Lego AM FM radio CD player. Again, it's I wish. A Lego brick. Yeah, it's a big Lego brick. I wish I'd known how much my father in law paid for this because it's such an important part of every story of every haul is how much was it? Again, I want to say it was either 10 or $20. 20 for this seems a little steep to me. I haven't researched them at all. I see what they go for on eBay or anything like that. I don't... Uh, thank you, Clark, man. I don't imagine myself selling Lego this. Beef. Clark, he's trying to sabotage my video as he... Bro, like you're getting it all out of focus. But yeah, we are missing the cover on the bottom, which is probably the biggest uh, bummer more, here. More. Yeah. What's the date on this anyway? 2010. So this is about nine years old, according to this. Does anyone have one of these? Is anyone interested in something like this? I thought it'd be fun to share though, something a little bit different. And of course we have the new storytellers CD in there as well for the Brickitect family too. So there you go, guys. Thank you for watching this very odd, very, very odd yard sale, Lego yard sale haul video. We're going to have more here for you every Friday coming up here until I run out of stuff to share with you guys. Thank you for watching. And as always, next, video, next video, that's me being the new storyteller.